Hello guys, this is Bill Cable and I'm back with another Boom Beach video. This time it's going to be a HQ9 base build. I know it's only been two days since I've been HQ8, but this is HQ9 now. And I'm going to make it a wee bit similar to my HQ8 build, but this is going to be 20 times better um, um, in terms of defence. Because I've took in mind a lot of things that are bad with my HQ8 build. But, but pretty much um, I had a few people te tell me my old HQ8 build was quite bad. Because folk could come around the sides and use the like strategy like that but all the attacks that I had no one ever done that so I don't think it's going to be much of a problem maybe later on when people start to get smarter at the game and so on but let's go straight on with this build it's going to build this HQ not right um, at the back but pretty pretty close to the back actually we're going to lay our our um, little tower first we're going to put our sniper tower right in the bottom left hand corner bottom right hand corner sorry um, so we get that perfect there, and then we're going to put our HQ base tucked in right next to that. And then we're going to put another archer tower tucked to the right of this, and then another archer tower tucked to the right of this, and this is going to give us quite a lot of spread out between these archer towers. And just put another archer tower at the front, so we've got all corners are covered by the. Um, Archer towers. Actually, we're going to make it all sorry, all corners covered by archer towers here. And this is going to be absolute perfect because they're not going to really know what corner to really choose to attack from because there's there's so much choice. Now we just need to put in our walls of like buildings to help slow down the process of attacking. So we're going to put a building in the middle of each thing. building here as well and this is going to be pretty solid as you'll see and then we're going to put in another line of defense or another actually no no no, no sorry wrong thing wrong thing a mortar here at this side and a mortar here at this side and this is going to be really good because we can cover huge amounts of the area with the, these two mortars even if they come from the back as you can see they can cover there and we're going to put our another line of storages to help to help make some make some decoy for the the guys that are attacking. Um, I'll put one at this side as well. well it's looking pretty nice so far. Now we're just going to need our boom cannon. Nothing, just one set out. Actually, no. One gap here. And then put our another boom cannon here. Pretty solid. Covered. If they try and flare their way around, they will have to go pretty far out to avoid that boom cannon. And then we're going to go for a machine. No, flamethrower in the center. Sorry. Flamethrower in the center. Machine gun up top. And we're going to run out of space for this machine gun. But I know what we're going to do. We're going to building. Put this machine gun right here, right at the beach, to sort of encourage them to drive that way, thinking, oh well, we'll get that straight away, but it's not going to work. Now we just need to put buildings, tuck in all of these way around, so it gives them, so it makes it even longer for them to get in. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. Now we're going to just put our buildings. Around the front here. Put that there. That's a really solid defense if you guys have noticed that. I'm going to tuck that at the back. You like to use buildings as sort of like shields towards the shields for the defenses. There we go. Now we just need to place our mines. Now this is a very good way to place your mines. Don't place them in in specific places. Trick the opponent by placing them in random places throughout the the base. So there's no actual best way of taking the mines out. And as you can see, I'm placing them in random locations throughout this build, and it will make it very very hard for the people to protect where to attack. Maybe later on higher levels you will need to maybe plan them out more but this is just 
planning it out just so it's spread out. And then put one here just in case they come behind it. Then another one right between there. And that's a, that's a really solid base build for level 9. Um, so if you guys really enjoyed this base build, please leave in the comment section or uh, anywhere else you see this video. Please um, tell me what you think of this base build. Tell me if you would use it or any improvements that you'd use. But I think it's pretty solid. Um, definitely something I'm going to be keeping up. Maybe probably change it at Headquarters 10 when I'm level 21. So um, definitely, um, please um, like this video if you enjoyed the video and think if there's if I was already right talking or whatever. But oh, thank you very much, guys, and please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos, and I'll see you guys later.